The Learn Dash Advanced Quiz add-on makes your quizzes more engaging and effective by allowing you to make use of new and unique question types and question time limits, as well as deduct points from incorrectly answered questions. This add-on also allows your students to save their quiz progress and return to their work at a later time. In this tutorial, we will guide you through the configuration and function of the add-on. Let's get started. Firstly, install and activate the Learn Dash Advanced Quiz add-on. Great! Now you can find the Advanced Quiz heading under the Learn Dash drop-down menu, and this heading will take you to the add-on setting. Allow negative marking. If this option is selected, then a negative points field will be displayed against each question. The user will get the negative points if they attempt a question incorrectly. Global negative points can be set from the Quiz Edit page, and the specific question negative points can be added from the Question Edit page. Allow negative marking for unanswered questions. By default, negative marking works only for incorrectly answered questions, but you can check this option to allow negative markings for unanswered questions as well. Different time limits for each question. If this option is selected, then a question timer field will be displayed against each question, located in the Advanced Quiz Meta Box. This option will allow you to set a different time in seconds for each question. You can also disable the time limit for a specific quiz from the Quiz Settings page. Allow Save Resume Quiz. Enabling this option will allow your students to save their quiz progress so that they can resume work at a later time. This is how this works on the front end. You can also set the limit on the Quiz Save Resumes from the Quiz Settings page. Next button as Save button. If this option is selected, then during the quiz, the Next button will be replaced with Save and Next. This allows users to auto-save the quiz before moving to the next question. Enable controls in Swipe Questions. When enabled, Swipe Question Controls will be displayed, and these controls let you navigate through the answer options using the buttons instead of swiping right or left. Resume button on Unfinished Quizzes Only. By default, the Resume button is displayed even after the user has finished a quiz. But by enabling this option, the Resume button will only display on unfinished or partially completed quizzes. Fantastic! Now you know about the add-on settings. Let's take a look at different question types. Calculation Formula Questions require the students to solve for a variable by completing a formula. The instructor can set a limit for the variables used. From the question setting page, you can also specify how many decimal points are allowed on the variables, keep it blank, or set to zero to allow whole numbers only. For example, to create a simple addition question for your Learn Dash quiz, enter the formula x plus y, add variables, and enter their minimum and maximum value. This is how the question will be displayed on the front end. Here you can do the rough calculation work related to the question. In Swipe Questions, students determine whether an option is correct by swiping right or incorrect by swiping left. To create a swipe question, add your description, image, or video. And from the left side options column, select whether this is correct or not. This is how the question will be displayed on the front end. In the jumbled sentence, students complete a sentence by selecting the missing word or phrase from a drop-down menu. To create a jumbled sentence, add the question. For example, X is the biggest continent in the world. Now add the X in the shortcode field and add all of the possible options in the values field. At the end, select the correct option from all of the possible options. By enabling this checkbox, you can also enable the blank option on the drop-down. This is how the question will be displayed on the front end. In the drag and fill, students complete a sentence by dragging the correct option within the available blank. To create a drag and fill question, 
Add the question. For example, X is the capital of Pakistan. Now add the X in the shortcode field and add the correct option in the values field. For all of the other options, you can add Y in the shortcode field and add them in the values field. This is how the question will be displayed on the front end. For further information about anything we've been through in this tutorial, you can refer back to the plugins documentation available on the Woo Ninjas website. As you can see, by integrating the Learn Dash Advanced Quiz add-on into your e-learning site, you can create interesting quizzes that are effective at solidifying your students' knowledge. Thanks for watching.